Hey kids, stay in school. I know it sounds cliche, but it's the truth. Your school is heavily fortified and it's the safest place to be right now. Now quickly, hide under your desk. The zombies are coming. I know it can seem tricky, knowing what to do about drugs, but it's actually quite simple. Just say no. Deny everything, they can't search you without a warrant. And then as a very last resort, you can always try offering a bribe. I know being a bully can seem fun, picking on kids half your size, but don't do it. If two kids half your size team up, they're the same size as you now, and they're out for revenge. Best to pick on kids a tenth of your size, there's no way they'll ever add up to a credible threat. You know the 7-Eleven on the corner of Elm Street in Maine? I heard a guy totally died there last year. Yeah. He exploded after drinking too many double gulps. Something to think about. They say a man's best friend is his dog. But who's a dog's best friend? Surprisingly enough, a dog's best friend is a badger. Do you really want to share your best friend with a badger? This holiday season, grab your shotgun. Together, we can put an end to those best friend stealing assholes. I know sometimes it's hard to follow your dream, but let me tell you about another young man who had a dream. The world told him to give up, told him to forget about his dream, but he persevered and he achieved his dream. That young man's name? Benito Mussolini. Some dreams are better left forgotten. If you don't talk to your kids, who will? Their friends? Their teachers? The homeless guy down the street? Peter Scolari? Sammy Sosa? The woman who wrote Goodnight Moon? No. Your kids will talk to themselves. And everybody will know them as those weird kids who talk to themselves. If you talk to your kids, everybody will know you as that guy who talks to those weird kids who talk to themselves. Just, just talk to your stupid kids. I'm judging you.